y'all welcome back to Rube Tues TV today I wanted to film for you my fall home decor tour also my home tour for me just moving so I go over kind of a majority of where I got stuff from but if you have any specific questions make sure you leave them down below in the comment section I'll tell you where I got everything from if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up also make sure you are my apologies uh, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you hit a notification bell so you can get all of my future uploads my eyebrows look crazy so I'm just gonna show you downstairs where a majority of the decor is and then upstairs I'm just kind of giving you a tour of the upstairs of the house I really hope you guys enjoy this it's taken me about a month and a half to get my life together uh, thank you for clicking on this video and watching group 2 TV and I'll see you all in the video all right, y'all, welcome to my 2019 town home fall decor and home tour video. So we're starting off in the entryway. This is the doorway to the right of the doorway. As soon as you walk in, I put a coat hooks up, which I keep like my keys, my purse, a hat that I wear a lot, dog's leash, and then I have this really pretty cactus photo. And that's immediately to the right when you walk in. Straight ahead, you see the living room. To the left, there is these stairs that lead upstairs. And behind the door, I just have these little potted plant thingies. In this picture, I don't really like these plants with this. I like the color, I don't like the plants. So I'm gonna find something different, but that's what we got for now. <clears throat> so, oh, just knocking things over. So as we walk straight in, there is to the right here, you see my dog toys on the ground, she plays with cat toys. Um, you see two closets as it walks into the kitchen. I have some really pretty like wall art um, around the house. So this closet opens up into the kitchen and this is where I keep all of my extra appliances, kitchen stuff, decor, where my dog area is and my extra dog stuff. Jasmine, watch out. This closet closest to the front door opens up to the entryway. This is where I keep um, car cleaning supplies, tools, like household tools, my vacuum attachments, um, some random little dog stuff, cleaning stuff, towels, linens, medication, pretty much everything random kind of goes in this closet here. Walking straight through is the kitchen. I like the shape of it. I like the cabinet size. So here is some places that I did put some fall decor in. I have that teal pumpkin and the gourd and a fall candle. This here is like a change jar that I got from a drink shop in San Diego. And then I think it was Square Bar. Yeah, Square Bar in San Diego. This is actually apple cider vinegar, dish soap, a little bit of sugar, and some water, and that is to catch like gnats. We get gnats here in the south, so yeah, it helps. I just refreshed it, but yeah, it works. So then I have like this little, it's a coaster, but it's love with the Razorbacks. I mean, I'm not a Razorbacks fan, but I am in Arkansas, so it is what it is. I keep my calendar. I have some stuff on, I didn't even pick up, I should have picked up before I did this. I have some stuff on the kitchen counters. Um, this is where I keep my little canisters. I like colorful and eclectic, so you'll see a lot of my stuff doesn't really go together, but it kind of goes together. So my coffee maker, coffee mugs, and once again, I love Pioneer Woman, so I have her stuff everywhere. There's other decorative things. This is the knife set that I just recently got, I love it. But yeah, I love the fact that there's this dishwasher. Um, there's awkward cabinet space. There's a lot of cabinet space. It's just very awkward. There's two drawers in the whole kitchen. 
and they're decent size but they're not very big i really like the type of oven it is with the glass stove top keep my toaster oven there it's too hot to run the oven all the time this is where i keep like art decorations that i was given for my sister and family members against this wall this is more like decor items more keep my microwave at so the fall items here are this sign here it says in all things give thanks I have this pumpkin apple candle this jar that says blessings candles so this is where I keep all of like my decor items really for the kitchen and some little random stuff. I keep like my bowl of tea over here. So it is an L-shaped kitchen. So I'm gonna give you another angle. It's a double door refrigerator. It's not bad. It's just kind of tight on space. But as you can see, there is plenty of counter space, which I really do like that. And it doesn't feel like it's too small. It's pretty nice. So let me start over here back in the sink breakfast dishes because you're not even clean up before this. Okay, so you walk straight through the kitchen and it brings you to, technically this is not the dining area. Underneath this light is the dining area, but space-wise it doesn't make sense. So this is where I ended up putting my table. Table I got off of Facebook Marketplace, rug I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Pretty much everything in the house is from Facebook Marketplace. So this is where I have my dining table area. I just showed this candle in my hall and these decorations in my hall. Can't talk today. So that's my little fall decor I did on my table. I love colorful things. So I didn't want to change out and do traditional fall colors. I try to just mix in what I had. I do need some more wall decor, but I'm not there yet. So that's my dining area. Show you another angle. This is facing the kitchen entry. So this is actually the entry that you saw as soon as you walk in the door. So this is what I have over here. I kind of tried to make this like a little hallway area. So I put my welcome sign. I didn't really have a place for the entry to put it. I have this sofa table here to try to help separate the room. And this is actually the first thing when you see as you walk in the house. So this is how this little area looks. I tried to keep this area open mainly because this is my washer and dryer and I felt like it needed to be a bit more open and excusable. So this is actually another area that I did a lot of fall decor with. I have some fall candles and these pumpkins. Here I put this lamp I have on this glass tray with this owl pumpkin and then I have this pumpkin runner. I put this blanket in a basket. The last basket of blankets here and just to try to give it a warm appearance. Okay, so we're back at the front door and this is if we went straight through the entryway. I have this little runner here, got that on Facebook Marketplace. I put some decor up on the walls, trying to make this feel like it's its own little area. I have a mirror on this half. there this is the half bathroom or the guest bathroom that's downstairs and here I just kind of keep everything pretty simple I put a silver pumpkin in here with the harvest gathering candle and then I just have some little bird decor because I just thought it was cute a colorful hand towel and then it's just simple decor in here just did a gray rug and kept it really simple. Coming back out. What's up, Jazzy? Coming back out. Ahead of you is 
what we were just looking at with just the table. To the left here in these closets. Is my washer and dryer. This is a clean load of laundry that I had. They're just drying up there so I can put them up. So this is like my catch-all area. I need to organize it better but for now this is where I kind of keep all of my random rooms and mop buckets and cleaners and laundry supplies. And so it's not the cutest thing to look at but it is what it is. The unit came with the washer and dryer and therefore I am blessed. Okay. So coming back out to the table here. Hi Jasmine. Hi Judy for Judy. Yeah. Hi Judy for Judy. So here I have this little hallway that I was telling you I was trying to create. Here is my decorative TV that I have. This is for purely decoration. I broke it when I was moving. Haven't gotten rid of it yet, so that sits there. Um, I found pretty much every single thing that's on the wall from like secondhand or Marshalls or Home Goods. So if it's not from there, it's secondhand from like Facebook Marketplace. So here I put my love seat. That's the entry to the backyard, which I'm not going to show you until I get that finished. The lighting in here is kind of dark, I apologize. Here is the overview of my living room, standing in the dining area. These couches I've had for almost four years now, three and a half years now, and I want to get them professionally cleaned again, but they're still in pretty good condition. The two pink pillows you see are a set. Those came from Home Goods. The tan pillow you see and the ones that have like the white and tan design, those ones came with the couch. The one that is with the pink came from Home Goods. The blanket came from Home Goods. So this is one of my favorite little things for fall. I don't really do traditional colors for holidays, but I try to make something feel more cozy with the bright colors that I have. As you can see, I love color. Next to the sofa on this side is where I keep a salt lamp and just some odds and ends decor pieces. Those little books that those uh, the salt lamp is sitting on actually have a little storage for my DVDs and those kind of things. This is also where I kind of hide my wires and my weights. I just have these little wall pieces. Those came from Walmart. These came from Hobby Lobby on the sides of the TV. And then I'm gonna probably mount my TV. I just haven't done it yet. I've mounted the other two. And then here's my TV stand. It's just where I keep little random decorations or memorabilia, photos of people. I keep storage for all my candles and scents and oils in the drawers, other decor items in the other drawers. I have my record player over here. It's one of the Crosby ones that a lot of- Sorry about that, y'all. I got a phone call. So this is actually a peace lily. It can have flowers around Easter time and then sometimes in the winter, depending on the condition, the health, the situation that the lily is in. This is just where I keep it. This is an antique stand for my family. I just have the jar that I use for the water for the peace lily and a little Ray Dunn candle just to add some difference of color. Here I have one of my velvet chairs, which if you remember from my earlier videos used to be in my bedroom. It just doesn't fit space-wise anymore, so I moved it down here. I know it does kind of stand out a little bit, but I have a lot of silver, so it ties itself in. And then this is the window to the backyard. I keep this lamp behind it. This lamp I got from Target about three years ago or so. This pillow came from Home Goods last year. This is one of the items where I said I use it in the home because the other side of it is a neutral, pretty blue color. So I can use it year round, which is good for the price of it. On the fireplace, I have this piece of artwork which 
even though nothing else in the room has this floral on it, it has all of the colors that I have in the room. Purples, blues, yellows, pinks, black, silver, everything. So this is the piece that I originally used to tie my room together. I have some decorative plates up there with some, those are actually kitchen canisters, but I like them for decoration, some candles. That is Snickers' ashes. I got him cremated when he died. And then just some decor down here. I do have some fall pumpkin decor. The one that lights up, the little teal one. My favorite one that has the gold and white that says blessed. I keep my cross there. I want to find a fireplace screen, but for now it is what it is. I have, as you can see, the backyard is a mess. So that is from the previous tenant not cleaning up, which I have to pay someone to come do it. So just haven't gotten there yet. Sorry for the shaky camera. And then I have the entry to the backyard and my love seat. I keep my dog kennel on this side. I need to buy her a littler one. Just haven't gotten around to it. The throw blanket itself is from Target and I love it. It's like super soft on the inside and I love the color, the mustard yellow. This I got from Facebook Marketplace. Though once again, those are the same two pillows on the same the back couch. Those came from Marshalls and the ones in the front came from the furniture place. Here's something that I love in the house and I love this rug. It has all of the colors that I have in my house in it. So this is what I use to actually tie everything together in this room with that painting above the fireplace. So on this ottoman, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for like $40. It's a pretty decent sized ottoman. I would say it's probably about three by three, maybe, maybe a little bit less. I have a fur blanket on it. So this is like my fall decor for it. Typically I just keep the tray on it with the candle and the books. But for now I have it on this tray. I have a fall candle on there, flannel. I have a pumpkin on this cake stand. I got the cake stand from Target. The book is actually Tuskegee Airmen. I got that from the Tuskegee Airmen Museum at Tuskegee, Alabama. Um, the pumpkin I got from Marshalls. The candle I got from Marshalls years ago. Obviously the Bath and Body Works one I hadn't. So this is my little display here. So this is the view from the love seat. I keep my little tray here with my little things I like to have with me if I sit here and watch TV. This is typically my spot. This is my phone charger. I keep it so it's accessible. So let me just show you another view of the living room. And then I'm gonna turn around and show you the dining room again. Entryway table and then once again laundry room bathroom and then front entryway so now we're gonna go upstairs so these stairs the carpet needs to be done on them at the top of the stairs I have a storage ottoman that I keep extra cords and wires and like random ins and out things I have two decorative pillows and this painting that I got from Marshalls. Once you come straight up the stairs and the landing, this door is actually entering into the bathroom, but I have it locked. You'll see why. And I just hang a mirror here, which is a good mirror when you're leaving your bedroom to go check out your outfit. This is a storage closet, which is not really organized very well my bathroom goods a little bit obsessed and then at the right when you come up the stairs is my office room I had a little sitting area here the pillows that typically go on here are used elsewhere right now so for now I just have my extra couch cushions pretty heart mirrors hung up I hung up the pineapple picture and then I have the zebra chair the rug it's just a nice little sitting area this light here I love it I got it from Ikea 
and when you step on it, it just gives a really nice ambient light at night. It's not too bright to work by. Just some artwork above my desk, area, printer, mat, chair. I keep my footstool. And then I just have a lot of these little decorations. A lot of this stuff came from Home Goods. This pineapple is actually part of a diffuser, but I don't have the charger for it. That's from Walmart. And then I just have little decor items here. Another salt lamp in here. This is a cactus that everyone in my family has. This is just where I keep one of them. This was actually uh, very small and then it's actually growing tremendously like, large for how long I've had it. Just a little decor and outside. These curtains are from Target. Actually, they're still selling them. storage closet. It's a mess. I'm not going to show you. This was the TV that we hung on my last video. <clears throat> and then that's back to the hallway. The master bedroom is... The bedroom is actually, I think, my favorite room in the house. So, this is the door to the bedroom. and to the top of the landing. Once again, this was supposed to be a bathroom door, but I have it blocked off. You'll see in a second. So as soon as you walk in to the right, you'll see my bed. And then as you turn left is my dressing area. This is where I hung the 55 inch TV that I have. It is the same mount as the one that's in the office that we hung. Just a smaller size, but it holds up to 55 or larger, so it's fine. And then I have my closet. All of these decor items are from Marshalls and Home Goods. This rug is from IKEA. This was from Facebook Marketplace, Marshalls Home Goods. Obviously, this was from a furniture store, and then just from random places that I've gotten decor at. And most of that, I think, was Marshalls Home Goods um, from uh, Helping Hands, which is like a secondhand store. My PlayStation obviously doesn't matter. TV from, I think, I don't remember. So then in this closet side, this closet's awkward because it's long, but on this side, I have to figure out something else to pour wise for right here, but I just have my handbags right now, some of them, and then the majority of my shoes that I wear on a regular basis. And then on this side is all my boyfriend's stuff. So it's pretty much out the way and you can't see it. It's all his hanging stuff and pants and shorts. And so this is where we keep all this stuff. Um, this curtain hangs here. There's actually a door, but it's so awkward having a door here because it's such a tight area. But with having the front door. So we just hang a curtain there, which is why I put my purses. It kind of makes it look better. <clears throat> I keep all of what? Bras, panties, socks, um, undershirts, everything is in here. On this side of the closet, I just have a something to hang up wet clothes when they need to dry and they won't go in the dryer. And then this is my side of the closet. I have <clears throat> the drawers. The bin the thing is that these actually go in broke, but these still work fine. So I use these for like just holding things so they're not all over the place. This is where I keep my pants, shoes, majority of, I got a million pairs of shoes, like a million pairs of shoes because these are stacked multiple, multiple, multiple ways. And then all the way to the back, yeah, they're stuffed in there. And then keep my sheets there, his extra shoes, my extra shoes, and then all my hanging clothes go here. Our hats are up there. And some little random extra things there. So that's my side of the closet. Then I have this beautiful black velvet upholstered chair. I keep this stool right here. I like to sit on this stool when I'm getting dressed. I keep a cute little decor basket here with some blankets that match the colors of the room. And then I have this beautiful mirror. 
On the curtains, I have silver drapes, which I really like. They're more opaque, so they do let some light in, but not a terrible amount. On the windowsill, I have another cactus, some different room sprays, a wax burner, candle, decor items. I have these little side tables on either side of the bed that I hung up. They are for decor. Um, I like their minimal look, and I like the fact that it has the wood, so it's rustic, but it's also industrial, and then it matches the gray of the bed. I love my bed. It is a king-size bed. I'm trying to get a good angle of it. This thing was interesting to get upstairs, I'll tell you all that, the mattress too. But I love the gold, silver, industrial, glam, but simple look of my room. I don't know what you would call it. The bedside table lamps are actually from Walmart. And then the New York pictures are all from Ikea as they came as a set. The Hello Love, I believe, both came from Walmart. The bedding is from Target. The sheets are from Target. I think all the sheets are from Target. And it's a Serta bed, or no, yeah, Serta. And then this is my side where I keep my phone charger, a candle, my water, a lighter for my candle, Jasmine. My dog's bed is over there where I keep my slippers. Some more decor. This is by the front um, door of the room. So then this is the entry to the bathroom from the bedroom. Okay, this is the entry to the bathroom. I don't know what happened to the original footage ahead of this, but I had to refilm this portion of it. So with the bathroom, I have a pink, white, gray scheme, but I also like color. So I made sure it matched what I had in the bedroom. So immediately to the right, when you go into the door, you see these cubbies. I got all of this from Target, including the bins inside. The towels are from Home Goods. decorations from Home Goods. Perfumes from different stores, that mirror is from Home Goods. So my intention is to take this mirror and hang it on the door somehow. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. But I want to hang it so it looks more like a wall. So this is the door from the hallway that has the mirror on the other side. This is just to give me bathroom storage because there's not a lot. So this is all my extra bathroom needs that I like to have right here. I have a shelf with all my toiletries. And then on the bathroom sink, I just have my toothbrushes and my hand soap and the mirror. Um, I like to keep like a Bath and Body Works nightlight in here. I keep cleaning supplies under here. My toilet, I like to keep my baby wipes on top of the toilet. And then decorative towels and um, to, uh, hmm, what do they call it? Q-tips <laughs> and a little face pad and just some decor. Um, I do have a glass door on the shower, but I like to keep it with the shower curtain on it. I think it's just really cute because it brings in the rest of the colors. And then I just have my bath towels there. So the bathroom isn't really too big, but by blocking off this area, it makes it feel like it's completely private. And because I am the only one living here, it works. All right, y'all, that'll be it for my fall home tour and overall home tour. I didn't do any decorations upstairs. I did everything basically downstairs. I really hope you enjoyed this small town home. I know it's about half the size of where I was living. I ended up putting everything else in a storage unit for when I purchased a home. So I have all the decor items. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna start filming cooking, cleaning, you know, day in life videos for here. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are curious where I got anything from, because I know I didn't go over everything, drop a question down in the comments, I'll tell you. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit those notification bells so you get all my next uploads. I really hope to see y'all soon. Thank you for watching Room 2's TV. See you next time.